Three years ago, I released my first body transformation video on YouTube and it accumulated millions of views. I gained 50 pounds in one single year and the internet credited me with one of the most successful dirty bulks of all time. But was it worth it? Good morning, YouTube for the very first time in a long time. Usually I open these videos with good afternoon YouTube, but today, today we are up early and we are going to seize the day. Now the only reason I'm awake as opposed to being asleep right now is because I have an extremely valuable package coming from my sponsor Grill of Mine today. And I, and I don't think I even have to be awake to uh, for this package to come. Like I don't have to sign off for it or anything like that. But I just, I just want to be awake for when it comes. It's an important package. So I don't want to miss it. It should, be, it should be here within the hour. So I'm going to shower real quick. I think I can squeeze a shower in and then, then I'll touch back with you guys. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I hyped this up a little too much. There's nothing too crazy in here, it's just your typical Gorilla Mind products, with the exception of this. It's upside down. This. This is the very first Gorilla Mind cologne. <laughs> yeah, they made a cologne. It's kinda cool. Carbon. Carbon is described as the chemical backbone of all life. All living things contain carbon. I have no particular fascination with the chemical elements. I only know that because I watch Breaking Bad. Let's go give this fragrance a test. Drew is still sleeping, so we'll go wake him up and we'll get his raw reaction to it. Oh! <laughs> what the heck? What are you doing? <laughs> Relax, what, what does it smell like? It actually smells pretty good. What is that? Use code Dylan for 10% off on your favorite Gorilla Mine products. Dang, I gotta start wearing tighter shirts around you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did mother, mother dress you? Ever heard of a fitted shirt, man? Come on. So time got away from us a little bit today. We were intending to go to the lake, which we are. We're still gonna make an effort to go. Uh, but yeah, work-related stuff just kind of got in the way. We uh, we got caught up doing some things. <laughs> All right, fine, fine. We took a nap and slept the day a little bit, but uh, we're gonna make an effort to still go to the lake. We're gonna meet up with my friend Shaylee, and some of her friends are gonna be there as well. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. It is hot as hell out here. Hold this. That's the perks of being shredded, you guys. What I need a shirt for when I look this good. <laughs> it looks like so trashy. This rear view mirror just for whatever reason gave out. It's like a wrecking ball inside the front. Let's see here. Watch out on this turn here, though. This, that thing's gonna swing around. He's not gonna swing that much. Oh my! <laughs> like I'll, I'll refer and she's like. Shaley, we're all putting on sunscreen. I you don't want, need you it. want to? You don't need any? When you're black as night, <laughs> <laughs> the sun doesn't really affect you. Plan. 
I know it. I technically landed it. Hand plant. But I was over. No. <laughs> and I had to swing like Honey, this. Honey, underwater camera. That's bull. <laughs> We are in a little bit of a predicament here. It's not good. It's not exactly what you want to see. All right, yeah. I've had it. He's gonna sit there and film me while I dig this whole thing. You haven't even dug yet. You just sat down. <laughs> yeah, as soon as it starts to move, man, get back. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. It's working a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn a little bit. There you go. Know. Oh shit! <laughs> Cracks the rock. Did it crush the rock? Rocks. Oh my! It's a big thing that um. By the way, it's me and Dad. Can you can you swim? Yeah, yeah. Swim the best actually. Half black, dude. I can swim. <laughs> well, you guys, we were unsuccessful in getting the man out of that uh, predicament. He was buried up to his axle. There's not much we could do, so we're gonna head out. We've exhausted our efforts. We didn't give up just seemingly impossible so he's gonna get towed he's got somebody on the way all right so I'm, I'm glad we did the lake it ended up being fun I'm not gonna lie it was pretty fun so if you guys don't know I'm cutting right now um, and as I'm approaching uh, getting leaner I guess just this whole ordeal it sparked some questions it's rattled my mind a little and it's got me thinking all these years ago when I did this ridiculous dirty bulk. I, I've just been wondering recently, looking back, is was it worth it? These are all questions I've been asking myself. And yeah, and so to answer this, I had to look back a little. You know, when I first started lifting weights, four years ago, four freaking years ago, I was 130 pounds, 5'9", roughly speaking. Um, and today I am 167, like as of the moment, I'm 167 pounds and I'm 5'10 and a half. Just about as lean. Probably leaner though. I'll give myself that. I think I am a little leaner. So from that alone, we can concur that I gained an immense amount of contractile tissue. I mean, we're talking a 35 pound jump there. And obviously not to disregard that I did grow an inch and a half. So a lot of that weight is obviously from my skeletal structure. Regardless, I gained a ton of muscle. Um, and I think that first year, that ridiculous bulk was critical to that. People can say what they want, but I trained my butt off during that time and I was eating a ton of food. You put those two things together from going from somebody who has no prior stimulus to resistance training and the result is exactly what you saw. I'm a prime example of that. I'm the epitome of somebody who had never lifted before and went absolutely balls out and gained 50 pounds of whatever it was, whatever the weight I gained in that first year, you have a lot of fat, but I gained a ton of muscle. I do believe that. And already, let's go back to the height. Let's refer back to that. I grew an inch and a half. I was coming up on 19 years old. How many almost 19 year olds do you know that are still growing? It's not very common. It's not unheard of. So I think this new, completely new exposure to food um, and this surplus of nutrients from the dirty bulk allowed me to squeeze a couple inches out of my height. Now, I'm not claiming that every kid should do dirty bulk. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that in my personal circumstances, it was worth it to do this ridiculous bulk. Like, mind you, I was extremely skinny at 18 years old, and not only skinny, but I was lean. I was single-digit body fat, and what's more is I had absolutely no appetite, so it's not realistic to think that somebody who has no appetite and is extremely skinny and lean is going to be able to consume enough 
clean food um, to combat their insufficient appetite. Like it's, it's it, and, and result in weight gain. Uh, and just adding to the leanness and the skinniness factor of my physique at the time, I don't think that a lean, clean bowl could have been optimal, mainly because the progress I would have made would have been extremely marginal and slow. Think about it like this. Because I did the dirty bulk, yes, I gained some fat, but I had some cushion to gain fat. I wasn't fat already. Like I could afford to gain some fat. And not only that, it probably made me look better. It made me look bigger because I had a little bit of more cushion and fluff on me. And because I elevated my body fat percentage, I was probably in a better state to build muscle. All right, enough talk. I'm gonna finish this chicken, then we're gonna go to the gym. I just thought that would be an interesting little insert here in the video. Or is it excerpt? I don't know. I lift weights, I'm stupid. I don't know. We're gonna go to the gym. Filming me, you 
freaking idiot. Get out of the way. Sorry, man. Damn, Liz. Oh, uh, editor, cut that out, that part where I was being mean to, uh, sorry, what's your name? Uh, Drew. Whatever, the cameraman, just cut it out.